Hey, good morning, family. This is Darlene. I'm going to be making a lava stretch bracelet. And I actually, look, cut the cord before I even turned on the camera. And I'm like, my God, I got to keep remembering to uh, turn on the camera. It's almost like um, I remember when I first started my job a really long time ago. I would always forget to log into ADP, and um, which is a payroll system that keeps track of your work hours. I would forget to log in in the morning. I would forget to log in and out for lunch. I would forget to log out for the day. And I was like, man, it took me probably two months to remember to be logging in and out of that that system. And I was just like, man, why can't I remember this? It's almost like with this camera, I'm trying to remember to turn it on, you know, when I uh, start making something. And I'm trying to get enough bracelets. I like to have at least 200 bracelets Anytime I go and uh, sell at an event, in addition to having enough product on, you know, all the platforms where I sell. So I always like to try to have more product than less product. And then as long as you're always making and making and making and making, you can always keep your uh, platforms full of inventory and you'll always have enough product that you can take, you know, if you do outside sales. So for here in uh, San Diego, where I live, there's a Etsy has what they call pop up shops and they have these pop up shops at the different malls. Uh, out south and Mission Valley and all up north. So I sold at the uh, uh, Plaza Bonita. At the Plaza Bonita Mall. And I remember thinking, it's like, man, you pay a small amount of money to actually have access to the shoppers in this whole mall where these stores are paying thousands of dollars every month, you know, for access to these customers. So if you're in a city or a state where uh, Etsy is and you're thinking about producing product, I would say go for it. You know, if for nothing, the opportunity to get out and meet new people and that whole experience of being a, you know, a seller or a vendor, especially in a mall. And it's just like with anywhere. The only thing with, uh, I think they wanted us to have, was it white tablecloths? I think they only want, they want you to have white tablecloths and it's restricted to handmade items. And I know that there were some people, I just keep dropping this, I know that there were some people there that had uh, merchandise that was not handmade. Some of the stuff looked like they had imported it or, you know, bought it wholesale. And I guess handmade is relative because you can buy, that's like I make my items, you know, they're handmade. So if someone wanted to buy bulk for me, that's still a handmade item. It's not like they're not handmade. So I guess they kind of filter all that in. Handmade is handmade no matter where you get it from, I guess. And they had, well, when I sold, it was, man, they had about maybe 15, I don't even think it was 15 sellers at the mall. And maybe they do that on, on purpose just to kind of slash the competition, maybe. 
because I know I was selling jewelry. There were two other people selling jewelry, but of course their jewelry was not like mine and mine was not like theirs, nor was the other girls. So, and I'm sure everybody did pretty good. Um, I'm going to be doing more uh, bracelets with the uh, with the hex nuts because these two, when I make the bracelets with the hex nuts, these are really good sellers too, especially like with the men. I don't know if it's because they add a, a nice masculine masculine look to them or what it is, but they they do really well. And the hematite. Little small, little small wood beads. This one on here, but I'm sure this will make it probably a little bigger than I want it to be. And then we'll close it with probably one of these beads because the hole is bigger. Like to wrap twice one, two, and then once, twice, one, two. And for me, I like to take the cord under, cross it at the bottom, and then bring it up and then tie once and then two. And then once, and then two, one, and then two. And then let's do one more. And again, remember, you can use the crazy glue if you want to, or any kind of glue that you have once you clip the little excess cable cord off. Then we'll hide that under the bead. And then we have our lava bracelet with the hex nuts. And then let's make another wood bracelet to go with this bracelet. I might even be able to use the bigger hex nuts. I messed around and went into the store and was rushing and got the wrong size hex nuts. Look how big these are. I like to use the smaller ones, so I'm gonna probably go later on today and get some more of the uh, the smaller ones. Oh, and before I move on, let me put this on here. I wanted to do it with the charm. So, I have to open. 
open this. And I hold it. And try to twist it a little bit. Just enough so I can slide it over that the cable cord. Try to fit it right between here. And I hate to open I don't like to open it a whole lot, but I might have to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and twist the, uh, close the jump ring back on it and make sure it's each side is meeting head to head. So, this one has a little charm. And then let's make another wood bracelet real quick. Uh, maybe just all simple wood too. Just, just wood. And maybe because we have our lava stone, let's maybe do it with uh, wood and maybe some hematite. And then we'll incorporate some other beads in here too. And that's the great thing when you're uh, making bracelets. It's all about how you want to bead it. Whatever beads you want to use. And I really just think it's about the coordination of the beads. Because sometimes I could put some, uh, some beads. I could string them and make a whole bracelet. I could even make a set sometime. And I'll take that whole set apart because I don't like the way it looks. Or it just doesn't coordinate or match well or... And I'll be like, man, why well, I really missed the mark on that one. So I'll take them, I'll take them loose. And then uh, start from scratch. And it, it generally works out. And I find that whenever I'm rushing to try to get items made, you know, they don't come out looking their best. So sometimes I might even have to take a day or two off. And... You know, just kind of rest my mind and all of a sudden something will come to me. An idea will come 
to make something. And I'd be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to try that. Because that's like with the gypsy earrings that we're going to do in the... Uh, and actually, I started... I started making some off camera. And I was like, there you go again. We're not turning that camera on. But um, we're going to make some uh, gypsy earrings. So the thought came to me of, you know, how to how to make it, how to put the little dangle on. And I was like, oh, okay, well, let me try that. And I'll try it, and it'll come out. I'm like, oh, man, that really came out good, too. But there are days when I just have to take a break. Because it's like it'll be stale as far as, you know, creating something. I, the ideas just won't, won't flow. And I'm sure that's natural with anything that you do. Because even as you're watching the video, you can tell it's like it's just basically beading some beads and tying knots. And my whole thing is it's simple. And I think it's just uh, the coordination, the coordinating of uh, beads, like what beads you marry together like this. So what just made this bracelet look really nice like that? Just the coordination of beads that I use. And that's it. And once you get that part down, the rest is uh, fairly easy. Actually, I'm going to make this a three-piece set. I think i got enough time to, uh, to do that. And we're going to go ahead and tie at once, stretch it, and then one, two, one, and then two, one, two. And remember, I like to take it under the bottom, cross it, and then bring it back up. One, and then two, one, and then two. And is the count always the same? No. It's just whenever you feel like it's secure. And I figure out I done cut all this uh, cable cord. I may as well go ahead and use it. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to tuck that under the bead. Yeah. And that'll be like that. And we'll put this one on the bottom. This one on the top. And we're going to make this a three set. So I'm going to make one more. And this one will be a three-piece set. And we'll start it off with, um, we can go ahead and use one of the black matte onyx beads. So we'll start it with this one. Then we'll go ahead and put some wood beads around it. Um, and these are not the same beads, but that's okay. 
You can always do a little mix and matching. Right, and then we'll use some, uh, we'll go with the hematite. And then we will use some of the brown beads and some of the black beads. So we'll go with the dark brown. I love these beads. These are wood beads. I really like the way braces look. Using these. more brown one two and then maybe one on this side to see Take one off, and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it. So that's one. Nice and round. And then one, two, tie. One. One, two, tie. Take it under, and you cross it at the bottom. Cross it, bring it back up, and then one, two, and then one, and then two, one, two. And go ahead and cut this there. Tuck that under the bead, and there we go. Now, see, this bead has a little, like a chip, so you can see, but I have a um, a marker, a brown marker, dark brown, and what I'm going to do is just kind of dot that, right? And if for some reason I'm selling it, the whole set somewhere, and it doesn't get bought, you know, somebody will see that and be like, oh, well, what is that, or... You know, I'll take it apart. And then I still might even take it apart. But I just find that, you know, a little dot of brownness to cover that is, is fine. Because I could see if it was like all of them or a lot. You don't want to sell that kind of stuff to people. But this is really simple and easy. It's just a real quick fix. So this is the three set. How nice is that, right? three piece and even if um, somebody sees this and they wanted to buy one of these bracelets from here I would sell one of them if they didn't want to buy all three and they just wanted somebody just wanted this middle one I would sell them the middle one or if they wanted any one of these other ones that's fine because guess what I make the jewelry so if the other two don't sell, that's fine. I could always make a third bracelet to put back with it, or I could even make another one of the one that's sold to go with the set, right? So that's that. So you have one, two, and your third one. And that's the set right there. Made it with the lava bead, hematite beads, some glass beads, and a lot of wood beads with a black onyx bead.
right? Darling Knight for Jury by BDK. Thanks for being a subscriber. Um, if you're not a subscriber, we welcome you to join us. It's just a matter of hitting the subscribe button, clicking on the uh, bell, and then click all, and then that way you'll be notified each time I upload a video.